Stacy Bear, I'm a doer of outdoor things. I'm also the executive director of Friends of Grand Rapids Parks in Grand Rapids, Michigan. I've been pestering Todd and Steve to you know, make sure that they had some mental health programming for the athletes. And so this, this year they invited me out and uh, I've been able to spend some time with different athletes and the TGR team. I've been skiing for a, a decade, but my background is really military and combat zones and explosive ordnance disposal. It took about five or seven years of me to be active in the mountains and the outdoor space to realize that I had lost more friends to the mountains and the outdoors than I had to military. This is supposed to be so fun, and it is so fun, uh, that we oftentimes ignore all the other pressure. If you ski 100 days a year, it's hard to be like, oh, my life is hard, but there's always challenges. The statistics are that 5% of the American population develops PTSD every year, and, and it's way higher in America than it is in the rest of the world, but we don't talk about it um, because it's like, you're tough, you push through. Um, and that's bullshit. You know, people might push through in their 20s and then collapse in their 40s. Ski and snowboard has really struggled with mental health, and so it's important to be able to give voice to that and let people know it's okay to talk about and it's okay to reach out for help. If you witness a fatality, if you witness one of your buddies lose their career, if you lose your career in the backcountry, that's a traumatic event. And if it becomes post-traumatic stress, we have to be able to talk more openly about that. What it all boils down to is, do you feel like you have a purpose? Do you feel love, capable of being loved and capable of giving love? Even if you're in the pits now, do you feel like joy is possible? Is there optimism, at least out on the horizon, that you can get to? Know people that you can talk to and develop other parts of your identity. The chances of finding that point of oblivion go way, way down. That's what leads to the oblivion. When you don't think you can be the best version of yourself, when you're not sure that you still have worth if you're not the thing you are right now. Develop the other parts of you right now that are in your identity. What are the other things that bring you awe and joy? What are those things that matter to you above and beyond the thing that takes your time right now? And how do you cultivate those things as you're moving forward in this career? Because this will end at some point, but you're gonna to have to continue to find meaning in your life. And what you do, it is awesome. It is not what makes you worthy. It is not what makes you lovable. That's just you.